What are your thoughts on the ever-increasing power consumption of top-end GPUs, especially with the rumors, rumors of the 4090 drawing up to 600 watts or more? I feel, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm painting myself into a corner here. Uh, what I want to say is we're reaching a practical limit, and I feel like this is one of those situations where it's like. You know, you can go back and six, seven, eight years ago, there's clips of me on WAN shows saying, yeah, crypto, you're never going to be able to buy anything real with Bitcoin, right? Like I'm <laughs> 64 kilobytes of RAM ought to be enough for anyone or whatever that that misattributed quote is. Um, it's possible. I'd like to think that we're only really going to see that in, in crazy, like gigantic multi-die data center products, but I don't know. I don't know, man. There's there's this never-ending appetite for higher and higher performance gaming solutions, right? And display resolutions. We're all we, we, you can already buy a display today, right? That cannot be driven by any modern GPU and probably not comfortably driven by the next generation of GPUs. We have new interfaces coming. DisplayPort 2.0 is right around the corner that are going to be able to drive those kinds of resolutions at high refresh rates. We are, we are three, four generations of product away from being able to play a AAA game today at 8K 120 FPS. So with that in mind... I, I don't think it's impossible that we will keep seeing companies chasing these higher and higher and higher total graphics power consumption numbers. I'd, I'd like to say we're capped out, but nothing's impossible. I mean, Intel, okay, Intel, you want to find a more conservative, you want, you, like, Okay, <laughs> I wanted to say something along the lines of you won't find a more conservative blue company, but IBM <laughs> might actually take, take the cake there. But Intel, hyper conservative, and yet they released that weird Peltier uh, cooler that, where they partnered with um, EK and Cooler Master, right? So uh, clearly nothing's off the table anymore. Thanks for watching, and thanks to New for sponsoring this week's clips. You can get $50 off the KQI3 and $30 off the KQI2 kick scooters on Amazon using the links in the description below.